How's everybody? Good. Hey, Joan. That's our controller, Joan Craig. Joan, stand up. How many years have you been? She's been serving our city for quite some time, and we're so proud of all the work that she does. I wanted to acknowledge, uh, who is Dr. Wynn? Dr. Wynn? I see. Uh, Bill Gilmore. How you doing, Bill? I see Jill Carter. Jill, I was looking for you this morning. Let me just say first, thank you all for joining us. This is our healthy soul food cooking demo. And one of my EP units said, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> I said, that's not true. <laughs> um, so, and it's really made possible through the generous donation of, and if you've not been there, please, the Land of Kush restaurant, give them a big round of applause. <laughs> okay, how many people here are vegans? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. Got one? Only one. I've been one. <laughs> okay. And I think I eat sort of healthy anyway. Uh, but the Land of Kush is a vegan restaurant serving up a fresh mix of Southern soul style cooking and ethnic foods. That deserves a round of applause. Doesn't that sound good? <laughs> so, ladies dressed in blue saying, yes. Here's the location. So to the <laughs> oh, I'll let them do that one. <laughs> so today, uh, we're joined by their master chef and owners, Gregory and Naja Wright Brown. Okay. Yeah. It's right behind uh, Maryland General, which is now University of Maryland. It's right there. If you've not been there, I've been there on several occasions mm -hmm. and enjoy their cooking. And so we're very excited. Um, let me just make note that uh, this is urban agricultural movement. Yes. And they're engaged in this. And they uh, really are excited about this demonstration. Am I going to get to cook? Yes. yes. <laughs> sure. I feel sorry for you all. <laughs> because the only thing I cook, Joan, is I, I boil water very well, so I cook really good on the boiled eggs. And I we'll do take, salmon. We'll take care of you, don't okay, worry. I do salmon very well as well. Uh, so uh, today we are joined by students from Evanston West Side. Are they here? Okay, they're. Oh, just come on. Academy Foundation School, where you? Okay, they haven't gotten here yet. Hmm. Mervo. Yeah. Yeah. Right. in Forest Park. Where's Carver? <laughs> Have to give a special clap for Carver since I used to represent them as their state senator. Um, let me just make note, diabetes and hypertension are two of the leading causes of death in Baltimore City. And it really is important that we eat healthy. And let me just say that, I guess it's been almost 10 years now that I uh, started uh, writing books around, for children specifically, on healthy eating and exercising. So eating well is great, but I have to encourage you all to exercise as well. In fact, uh, we're going to have a day of fun right out in front of City Hall. Joan, we're going to be jumping rope. Okay. 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 Oh, wow. Some children in here, they don't even know about hopscotch. <laughs> <laughs> Dodgeball, so you can take out your frustrations on some of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to welcome up our health commissioner to say a few words uh, because she really is engaged on some positive things around healthy lifestyles. Uh, we talked earlier today about programs for our babies. So, welcome, Dr. Wynn. Thank you very much, Madam Mayor. I feel so grateful every day to work for a mayor who cares so deeply about our city, about everyone who lives in our city, and I think who also really practices what she reaches in healthy lifestyles, being kind to everyone, and so I want to thank our mayor for having I'm glad to join Chef Brown and Miss Wright Brown 
who I just had the opportunity to meet today. Unfortunately, I have yet to visit the land of Kush. Oh my goodness! I know. <laughs> Although I have so much motivation for doing this, so just want to say, you know, I, I had the opportunity to look up some of the of the work that Chef Brown and Miss Faye Brown have, have done before. And um, there was one interview where I saw Chef Brown say, I was born to eat healthy. Mm. Now, I wish I could say that. <laughs> well, you look like it. <laughs> you know, I was saying earlier, I'm Chinese, and I don't know that Chinese food is always the same thing as healthy food. Mm. There's a lot of greasy foods and other things in there. Well, that's our next song. <laughs> <laughs> next thing. But, you know, as our mayor is saying, uh, what we're saying, there is, we also have to think about the health reasons for um, all the things that we're doing. It is about preventing heart disease, diabetes, obesity, right? We need to think about being healthy. But sometimes we think about being healthy as the opposite of eating delicious food. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we feel like we have to make that choice. Remember how Popeye used to be like a bad villain because he ate spinach? I mean, well, he wasn't a villain, but people used to think of spinach as just not a good thing. Exactly. Popeye made it popular because he was a strong man. Because That's right. We can, <laughs> we can do this together with Devin Comptroller and Colleen, our food, our food policy director, and yeah, Popeye together. <laughs> no, but um, I'm really glad to be here to be with these leaders who are changing that paradigm that actually we can make the healthy choice the easy choice. And we can learn, all of us, to cook food that's healthy and delicious. And really, you know, I'm excited to do these things, to learn these things like lentil burgers, mm. Ooh. vegan Ooh. mac and cheese, I'm excited to see that. Ooh. Even soy-based barbecue ribs. I mean, that's pretty exciting. I want to see what that's about. So I'm sure all of you want to get on with the food yeah. demonstrations, which I'm so thrilled about. But thank you for coming to join us today and for making the healthy choice the easy choice. Thank you. Today, uh, I was talking with uh, one of our black restaurant owners in Baltimore City, and I said, we've got some really tremendous, wonderful black restaurants throughout the city. And even when we introduced uh, Valentine's Day, we showcased all many of the local vendors, and this really is about a celebration of black history. But food, uh, while some people say we use it for comfort, some of us has got to fill up, uh, it is about today, about healthy eating. And I didn't know whether you want to say anything. I'm good. We're going to get on with the cooking. Okay. <laughs> but I, again, let me just say thank you to our chef. So I was going to invite Chef uh, Greg to come on up and say a few words. And sure. Is he supposed to be ready to eat? You hear Joe? I know. I know they're ready to eat. But um, I just want to say it's an honor to be here. Thank you uh, for inviting us, Madam Mayor. Um, yes, we're from the land of Kush. I'm Chef Greg Brown. This is my wife, Nadja Wright Brown. Um, we're located at 840 North Utah Street, uh, right by Maryland General Hospital or University of Maryland um, Midtown Campus. Um, so, yes, we're all about healthy eating, and so what we're going to do today is a little demonstration with some black beans and some quinoa, just to show you how easy it is to prepare some fresh, delicious food. Um, in terms of urban agriculture, we have a great organization here called the Farm Alliance of Baltimore, which I happen to sit on the board of, where we've pulled together some of the urban farmers. I don't know how many people are really aware of that there are farms here in Baltimore City. Okay, a couple of people. We have, a, we have a lot of great farms from east to west, south, all over the city that are growing great fresh produce to try to eliminate that food desert situation we have going on here in Baltimore. So um, just an honor to be here. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Mayor and Nadja. I'd like to say I'm the co-founder and the organizer of Vegan Soul Fest. Who's been to Vegan Soul Fest? We're going to be in our fourth uh, year. We had 7,000 people at Baltimore City Community College last year, and we're looking to have 10,000. So I hope everyone comes out. Uh, the date is tentatively set to August 26th, but uh, follow us. We're at thelandofcush.com and uh, vegansoulfest.com. And um, before I leave, I want to present the mayor with uh, some gifts. This is very small, very small poses. The most important gift that I want to present to her is a printed copy. 
of the only African American Union Starter Guide. Awesome. Oh, wow. 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 Let me also acknowledge uh, Eric Costello, our councilman. Thank you, Ms. You ready? Our councilman. And your councilman. Yes. In this district. Who's been very supportive. Who's been very supportive. <laughs> like Polly McCarrick. Anyway, uh, let me present you with this citation. This is the oh. certificate of recognition for both of you all. Thank you for being a part of our Black History Month celebration. And so let's get on with it. Let's get it in. Yes, let's get it in. We're heading to the kitchen. Okay, <laughs> after you. All right, so let's, uh, let's get it cracking. Let's turn some things on. So how many people know about quinoa? Okay, how many people have actually ate or cooked quinoa? Good, that's what's up. Okay, that's beautiful. So I just wanted to let you know how easy it really is to cook this delicious grain from South America, because a lot of people are like, you know, cooking healthy is so difficult. You can pour that right in there. Yeah, just pour it all of it in there. Um, just, don't be scared of it. Um, and then I need some water in there. I need about three cups of water in there. That would be beautiful. Um, three cups, thank God it's a measure. <laughs> <laughs> three cups right so there. Right yes, ma'am. Um, and so uh, we wanted to show everybody how really easy it is to cook healthy. Everybody say, oh, it's so expensive. Oh, it's so much time. Oh, it's so much effort, but it's not. Um, you just need a little bit more, yep. Um, and so it's not, it's not really that much time. What I've done here is prepared some vegetables here. We have some red onions. We have some red peppers. We have an assortment of vegetables over here that we're gonna throw together with it. But we've pre-prepped this, because I know most of you are busy, on the go. We've got some students in here. I know um, that y'all are on the go all the time. And if you could pour that right in there. Thank you so much. Boom, boom. The sound of cooking. The sound of cooking. Should I stare? Nope, you don't have to do, you don't even have to do that. Like, it's that easy for you. And so we're just gonna bring that to a boil, but when I was working nine to five, uh, eight to four, two to 11, whatever those eight hour shifts are, 12 to eight, whatever that is, um, you know, I would always prepare food ahead of time. And so this is one of the things that I would do is take a cup of quinoa or any type of grain and prepare it just like this. Water, throw it in a pot, and just, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it to a boil real quick. And you're gonna see how quickly that this is, is gonna go. Just, you know, trust it. You got believe in the food. I believe it. And so while, and, and while I'm up here, like, don't mind me, because sometimes I talk to my food. Um, you know, it's always good to have a relationship with your food. We're not robots up here, you know, just preparing. Um, yeah, she doesn't mind. She doesn't mind. No. This is, this, this is how we built our relationship, though. Like, Naja and I built our relationship off of work. We met at Verizon Wireless, and then we uh, extended that to going home and talking in the kitchen. This is what we would do every night when we would come home from work, is talk in the kitchen. So, oh, go ahead, what are you saying? What role would you the brunch that you have on Sunday? Because before I transitioned to veganism, I was a breakfast person. So I said, well, how do we veganize pancakes and scrambled eggs and sausage? So, so what's cool about this is Valentine's Day. Wasn't that a sweet Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, Talking to the food. Talking to the food, and then, yo, so Naj has been just an incredible influence in everything we've done. I mean, the soul food theme that we do at the restaurant, Naj has been just the, the influence, because if you leave it to me, it'll just be sauce and the easiest things to make. But she really pushed me and said, hey, you know, you need to try some different stuff. So we're gonna throw some things together. So I threw a little olive oil in this pot, and now I'm gonna throw a little garlic. In. Matt, would you like to throw just a little bit of it, not, not the whole thing? Um, oh, not the whole thing. <laughs> While garlic is good for you, it is a spice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, okay. That's okay. Work with a coach if it's your first time in the kitchen. So we throw a little garlic in here, <laughs> just a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm throwing a little red onion in here. Not the whole thing. Not the whole thing, okay. I'm gonna do this one, okay? 
<laughs> let her try it again. Okay, let's <laughs> just, 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 let me see. Keep going, keep going. I love the sound that it's making. It's making a beautiful sound. Yeah. Do you smell it? It's just the smells, right? I won't do it here, but when I'm at home, I put my face in the pot and just. Don't do that. No, I won't do that here. Let me see. That's beautiful. Perfect. Can I see that spoon over there? You mind stirring this just a little bit for me, please? Got a little garlic on it. Got a little garlic on it. Oh, look. You're a master. You are a master. Actually, my dad was a chef in the army. Oh, really? Oh. That's why we didn't have to learn how to cook. <laughs> I thought you would have been in there with him, like. That's how my five-year-old, every time we start up a stove, my five-year-old's running behind us. Like, what, what's going on? I want to be involved. I'm going to get my stool, and I'm coming over to help. I, okay, Pia, calm down. Boom. She loves cooking and climbing. So I threw a, just a little bit of salt in there, and I'm going to grab this pepper right here. Because what is life without pepper? What is life without spice, right? You can't be boring. You can't be boring. Bang, just a little bit of pepper. And so like when I cook, I like to season early and late and throughout and all day, right? <laughs> but I like to season throughout the dish. Spoon, let me see. <laughs> and so we're gonna throw a bunch of vegetables in here. Um, so, oh, how about you? We got some spring onion. Throw that in there. I'm gonna turn down this flame a little bit. Not all of it, right? No, not all of it. Not all of it. They win. Keep going. Keep going. You can't go wrong with vegetables. Vegetables are not pricey. It's okay. Experiment with vegetables. Oh, that's beautiful. That's be that's perfect. Throw the rest of that in there. We're gonna do all I of it this time. Like I, I know. I know. I, I was nervous though. I was so scared. Um, let's go a little red pepper. Y'all know red pepper. Not spicy, but sweet, right? Okay, got it. Just a little bit of that though, you know. And so also when we cook, uh, you like colors, right? Because that's what the vegetable kingdom is all about, right? Colors, colors, colors. Perfect. We're going to throw some more green in there. Let's throw a little green pepper in there. Don't say throw, say sprinkle it. Sprinkle it. <laughs> sprinkle it. And Nadja, can you throw a lid on that quinoa real quick and just turn down the flame? It's come to a boil. Looks so pretty. Oh, look at that. You know exactly what you're doing. I shouldn't even be up here. Stir that up for me just a little bit. Oh, that is the flavor that you savor. Also, uh, the mayor has been so supportive of our restaurant, not just us coming here, but even since our inception, since we've been open as a restaurant, for six years that we've been open, she's been coming through, just very supportive of us the entire time that we've, we've been in Baltimore. So, um, who's next? Let's go black bean. Let's go black bean. Throw a little black bean in there. You can put all of these. Yeah, you can put all of those in there. So what I did was, so in terms of like cooking and preparation, what we did was is we soaked some dry black beans, right? So don't buy from the can. Just go get some dry beans, soak them for eight hours. They triple in size triple in size, so whatever you're buying, you're getting three times that value. And inexpensive, this is not, it's, this is not in the frozen section, this is, this is you know, dry stuff, this is fresh vegetables, this is not expensive stuff. Everybody says eating healthy, being vegan is, is very expensive, it's not, when you get down to the basics. I'm gonna charge you when you come to the restaurant, but <laughs> that's my job though, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, now what we've done is we've given the mayor, our magic wand. Now I'm not supposed to tell them what this is, though, right? You can tell them what it is. It's called Creole Spice Blend. Okay, so. I'm not going to tell you what's in it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what's in it, but um, I made my own Creole Spice Blend. Now, I'm not saying that you go and do that, but this is how you bring flavors out. Use your spices. Oh, we got culinary students in here, right? Use your spices, use your herbs, use the stuff that's around. So, How much is this monster? let's see, let's see, let's throw it in there. It's not that, it's not too spicy. That's good, that's good, okay. But this is what's gonna bring it out. This is what brings the soul into your food is, is the spices that you put into it. And also, your own personal energy. You all have personal energy when you're cooking, if you're mad and you're angry, like that's what's going into your food. 
But when you're happy and you're having a good time and we're joking with the mayor because she threw a whole handful of garlic into the food. I'm like, okay. I'm happy for <laughs> because she threw all this stuff into the food, but she's having a good time. She's got a great, beautiful smile on her face. She's loving this whole process. It's, it's reminding her of family and my dad. her dad and, and my mom in the kitchen. Mom in the kitchen and, and us sitting on the sideline waiting. Right, <laughs> absolutely. And I got my, I have my mother here, my mother and my stepfather here. Grace, please stand up. These two, amazing, amazing. Yes. Right. Okay, and, and just as, as we're letting all this stuff cook, just a really quick story. So my basketball team, when I was coming, I was in a little rec league, right? So my basketball team, all black boys, Black History Month, how about that? All black boys, um, we were in a league, um, we were on, the only team with black boys, all black boys on the team, and we didn't have a coach. So they were gonna separate us, right? And they were gonna break us up amongst these teams. So my mother said, nah, you're not gonna do that. I'm gonna coach the team. Now, my mother didn't know that much about basketball. And they were like, wait, wait, wait. First of all, you're a woman. You're not coaching this team. These are boys, you're not coaching the team. So my mother fought them on this. Do I got the story right? I'm good? Okay. So she, she fought them on this. And being the tenacious um, woman that she is, she fought them on it and she made them let her coach. And we went undefeated that season. Right. She went to the library, got books on basketball. I think you and Johnny were dating at the time, if I'm not correct. Okay, okay. Now, my mother also is a retired Baltimore City school teacher at the elementary level. 40 plus years. Okay, now let me go to my stepfather, right? So my stepfather, like, okay, now, let me say this. He's a mathematician, okay? Um, I was struggling in math. Okay, and he came through and straightened my life out. Like about, I, th I say eighth, ninth grade, I, I was having a terrible time with algebra, and as soon as he came in and worked with me on the, I remember it was word problems that we were going through in the eighth grade, and I was struggling, and whatever he said to me and got me to focus, no problems with math ever since, and he's been a great leader and a great support to me my entire life, so I'll definitely. Take the, lid, take the lid off of that, please. Fire chief. <laughs> the fire chief is slowly watching, like, what are you guys doing over there? I didn't know that there was going to be flame. Okay, so now we're going to throw. Make sure I burn the city all day. No, we're going to raise the city up. Um, so we're going to throw some cilantro in here. Ah, fresh herbs. Fresh herbs. It's not hard. It's not hard. Let's throw it in there. Let's let's be let's be if, not the garlic though. Like no, just not the garlic. We're gonna stir that around, and then as we wait for that quinoa to cook, would you like to help us with a salad? Oh, of course. Of course. Now, if you can hand me that avocado real quick, please. And I need some gloves real quick too. I'll take those. I'm gonna open this for you. Does everybody know how to open an avocado? So we're just gonna cut this. For those of you who don't know, you just cut around the edges like this. Just make a complete circle with your avocado. Students, fine. Twist it. Avocado is open. Okay, let's move quickly because avocados turn that quick. Very no. Quick. But, and so now getting the seed out. Big seed, we're just gonna plop this knife right into it. Very gently, twist, seed comes out. Magic. 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 <laughs> and so I'm going to take over this real quick. I'm going to turn this down. And then there should be, there is a little spoon right here. Let me give you some gloves real quick. And then, so we have the magic of kale, right? Everybody knows what kale is, right? This is not a mystery, right? It is a vegetable, a leafy green vegetable, a superfood. Everybody wants to know where vegetarians get their protein, leafy green vegetables. Actually, this is a high protein uh, meal that we're doing here with the quinoa and the black beans. Um, very high protein. So, Madam Mayor, if you could scoop this out right into that bowl right there. Absolutely fresh, fresh, beautiful. 
Very easy, right? Avocado. Avocado is the butter of the vegan world. And then we've also made just a little bit of that. So what we've done is we blended up some olive oil and some garlic, okay? That's perfect. A very basic dressing. Massage the kale. Now, if you're at home and you're not serving the general public, you can use your bare hands. Your bare hands have oils in them that help break down the kale when you put your hands in them. And it makes it nice, like nice and tender. Oh, she's doing a good job. So well, you work. Right, right. <laughs> Talk to your kale. And then, and we've bought a bunch of food for everyone to taste so that, who said yes? Somebody said yes. That sounded like a student right there. Okay, so we, now we know Great. Mayor Pugh could have awesome. been a chef in a past life. That's right. Bang, look at, does that look pretty? Okay, we're gonna add one more piece to it, just a little bit of flavor. Okay, this is amino acids. This is called, does anybody know what a liquid amino is? I saw a question right on your face, you were scared. Okay. It's a salt substitute, a soy sauce substitute. So it's salty, right? But it doesn't have as much sodium in it. So we use it in salads um, at the land. Mix it in, yes. And so it just brings the flavors together a little bit. Y'all about to get it alive and direct. Liquid aminos. Yes, Bragg's, yes. That's probably the main brand. So, quinoa, right? Little baby seed, little baby seed, right? Okay, it fluffs up. I'm gonna take this, come right around you, Madam Mayor. Boom, spin, turn. Hey, Jack. He's our president of city council. Yes. <laughs> oh. Sometimes that we actually donate food, so Jack, we have the opportunity to have food We also have the Honorable Mary Pat, Mary Pat Clark in the building. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so here's what the quinoa looks like afterwards. Now this, we store, like I store this in the refrigerator for whenever I wanna cook it. Just some water and some quinoa stored in the refrigerator, and then you can bring it out and then add whatever you want to it. Just like I threw these vegetables together, boom. Now I'm just gonna dump some quinoa in here with it. Real easy, real basic. Quinoa. Quinoa is a complete source of protein. Excuse me one second, I'm just gonna throw this back over here. You have done a wonderful job, Madam Mayor. Okay. Nadja, would you like to get the food for everybody to uh, get ready to eat? Because yeah, I, I know y'all don't think I'm gonna feed all of you with this one little pot, right? <laughs> is that what y'all were thinking? Vegetarian, Jack. This whole front row over here is looking at me like, I don't know how you gonna do that. Mm -hmm. There's no way, I'm gonna get mine, but. <laughs> Oh, we, we got you, Councilman, don't worry. No, don't, worry. don't say no more, brother, I got you. Don't. <laughs> All right, so, finished product. All right, can I show y'all pretty? Yeah. If y'all can see pretty? Can y'all see pretty? This is, that's her, this is, the dish's new name is pretty, okay? You are beautiful, look at that. Can y'all see, can y'all see? Okay, so now, the mayor has helped us out with a salad. Now we have a quick salad, and we got a small little dish, lots of protein, and we have some samples for everyone to eat. Does anybody have any questions, or y'all wanna come up and just, y'all wanna eat and then ask questions? Yes, ma'am. Can I taste the one that the mayor personally cooked? Absolutely, okay, okay. all right, all right. We got a special request. Did you cook the black beans? I cooked the black beans ahead of time, because obviously that would've taken a long time. We, I soak them overnight for at least eight hours, and then I just bring them to a boil. And that's what I do, like, I'll put the quinoa in the refrigerator, like after it's cooked, I'll put some beans in the refrigerator, and then when I'm ready to bring stuff together, I just bring it out, do a quick stir fry. Yes, ma'am. What's, what's, what's the best way to know if an avocado is right? I have trouble. So, <laughs> so um, generally, when you can feel it, and it'll feel kind of soft, right? If it feels like a rock, it's not right. But it may, if you're not planning to use it right away, you can take it home, it'll soften up. Also, at the top of the avocado, there's usually like a little stem. If you pluck that stem off, it'll, it'll be a color. If it's real brown and it's kind of mushy, then that means it's overripe and you don't want to use it. If it's like a greenish color, ready to go. 
And so like it should be kind of tender, right? But not super soft where you feel like you can squeeze it. If it's like, a, like I said, if it's like a rock, okay, it's not ready yet. But you can take that home, let it sit, and it'll get nice and soft. Or you can put it in a brown bag and it'll soften up as well. Yes, ma'am. Did you say that sauce was the, the use for sodium? Oh, it's called Bragg's Liquid Aminos. Bragg's is the brand name. Liquid Aminos is the actual product. Absolutely. You can find it in any, you can probably find it in any market, but any health food store, they generally have it. And it's a salt substitute. You can use it for cooking. I use it mostly for salads. I like it mostly for salads. And then like I make my own, I make my own blends of things. So feel free to use all your, your, you know, your spices. You got cumin, you got coriander, you got turmeric, you got curry, you got all these spices out there. Use them in your food. They create energy. They give your food like, you know, flavor and soul. What else can I answer for y'all? That's why it's called soul food. That's right. That's right. Because we're not, we're not just feeding the physical body. We're feeding our spirit. That's what we do. We're feeding our spirit. We're giving ourselves energy, right? And we want energy to be long lasting. Okay. Oh, the students are serving. Oh, that's what's up. That's right. Put them to work. Put them to work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let me just say again, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what a wonderful job. Did you all enjoy? Vegetarian <laughs> friend Joe Carter. Yes. Be happy for that. Yes. Uh, thank you all. Let's uh, enjoy the food.